and welcome. This is Magic Dad 76. I'm here with Stardew Valley. If you, a lot of you probably have heard of the game by now. If you haven't, it's it started off as a Harvest Moon emulator and then just grew from there. And it's pretty pretty awesome, I would have to say. So I decided I played around with it uh, in a single player world, to, uh, or not single player. It is only single player right now. But I played around with it for a bit uh, to get a feel of the game, get get used to the controls and everything. So we're going to start with a new new game. The name's going to be Magic Dad, and it's going to be the Magic Mansion Farm. Favorite thing: illusions. Animal preference will be dog. So when we get the dog, I'm going to name it after my dog. We'll Go find a hairstyle. I like that hairstyle there. Let's check and see. Yep, okay. Change shirt. First off, I want to make the pants black. No, I don't. I'm not digging that shirt. Ah, uh, that. No. No, uh, that one maybe, maybe. On the Mounty. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist that. Uh, let's go with this one and get my goatee. And we're going to skip the intro because that adds an additional five plus minutes, which, uh, to summarize the uh, intro, Grandpa's dying, gives you a letter, tells you not to open it until you feel that the world is, uh, the weight of the world is just crushing you and you, you feel uh, hopeless. Happens when you're working for a company called Jojo Corporation uh, in a cubicle. You open it, you find out you inherited uh, your grandfather's farm. You move out there, you meet the mayor, uh, and you also meet the carpenter, Robin, the, uh, I've, Mayor Lewis, Mayor Lewis and the carpenter, Robin. Robin makes a crack about your house, and then you get started. So we're going to just go to getting started. So we get out of bed. Let's go check the TV so we can see what's going on. Living off the land. Welcome to Living Off The Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for a wild forage to earn some cash while w waiting on your first harvest. And I just realized something. And you guys are not going to have any uh, game sounds until after I get out of the screen. Because I just... Uh, I'm including my own music, so you will have that, but the game sounds are going to start now. So, the next one is Fortune Teller. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Cool. Weather Report. Welcome to KOZV5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. That's actually good in some ways. So here's what we're going to do. We got parsnip seeds and new journal entry. We got 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. So getting started, we have to cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Okay, introductions. We got greet 28 people. So let's, we are going to have to start with, oh, there we are, clearing out a spot of, a plot of land. Right here looks like a good spot, two, three, two, boom, boom, there we are. Oh, that's only for nine. Ah, you know what? Let's do a f uh, five by three. 
I usually don't like doing the nines, but... Oh, mistake. I just saw something I was going to do, but that's okay. We will deal with it. We can live with it. As soon as I realize... I can accept I'm not perfect if you guys can as well. Oh, I got water already. Two, three, four. Get all this watered. We got that spot watered for what we're going to do now. We're going to town. We're going to go to town. We're going to meet new people. And we're going to pick up some stuff. Okay, so we, we're we getting uh, leaks. We need uh, all one of each of the summer uh, forage items. So we're here in town. This is the board that tells us the calendar so we can see whose birthdays and what events are going on. And then we got a help wanted, uh, which is nothing. Nobody wants some help today. That's okay. And we're gonna go and talk to any meet people. Getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. That's good to hear. So I met Gus. I just met Pierre. Hey, it's Mr. Magic Dad, the new farmer, and Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds. My shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Okay. And I saw somebody walking over here. Oh, we got some more people. Hi. Hello, you must be Magic Dad, new farmer. I'm Caroline. Okay, hi Caroline. My husband runs a general store here and have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the one with the purple hair. So this is Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone was moving in, uh, onto the, that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, you can always... I'm an open neighbor. You can always come by and say hi. Explore the fields. That's okay. And it won't let me shut the door. Lovely. Okay. That's nice. Okay. So we... Oh! And we just found a daffodil. Which is actually good for uh, making friends. And, and you can gift them. Uh, we're going to talk to this girl. Her name is Penny. Hi, Penny. Oh, did you want something? Let's gift her a leek. She likes these. Thank you. This looks special. In my playthrough, I found that she didn't really care too much for daffodils, so I'm going to save that for somebody that wants it. Okay, let's see here. Oh, uh, there's nobody that will be in there. Oh, we'll talk to this guy. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'll see you around. Oh, we'll talk to these people, too. Hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Hmm. Well, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Well, I met more people. I don't know how many I'm at now, but we can check and see. Social. We Penny's at the top of our social list, and there's Alex, George, Evelyn, Caroline... Abigail, Pierre, Gus, and we got a bunch more people to meet, so. 
Oh, and we met Robin and we met Mayor Lewis. We're probably not going to have everybody met until uh, day three, I think. Day three or four. And I'm going to do one. Uh, uh, each episode's going to be one in game day. So. Oh, hey kid, the name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Okay, Pam. I can. I can agree with that. So we'll go in here and we're going to meet Gunther. Hello there, welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with all the, with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display, but I'm hoping to remedy that, that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Okay, so we just met Gunther. And we'll go in here. And this, I think, is Clint. Yep. Er, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Okay, get in the Oh, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no don't. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Sam. Okay. I caught him uh, in time. Oh. And let's see here. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem in interested. Sorry. In talking. How about does that consider meeting Shane? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. No, no, it, it, we have met Shane now. Okay. So we'll, we'll meet this tool here. Welcome to Jojo Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we met. I'm Morris, the Jojo customer satisfaction representative. When you decide you want to become a Jojo member, I'll be delighted to help you make your transition a joyous experience. No thanks, I was there. Was there, left it. Happy to be gone. Oh, there goes a rabbit. We're gonna go down to the beach now. Grab some stuff from here. Oh, grab that, grab that. We got tons of stuff from the beach. Got a couple muscle. Oh, shoot. Uh, mistakes were made. I just realized this. I need to buy some extra prop. Oh. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Um, let's see if I can do something about this right now. Oh, hey. Want to talk to her? Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Leah. This is a really nice gift. Glad to hear that. Ha. Well, I didn't want to do that right now, but I had to because I messed up. And I've got a puppy that's whining. <laughs> so let's get 10 bean starters. Oh. And what are we at for number of people we met? Introductions 15, of, we're over halfway there, so it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Oh, wait, we haven't met her yet. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Hi, Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farm around could really change things. Cool. Yes, it could. I'm going to talk to this kid here. 
Oh, hi, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Well, your mom is right, but you're also right. I'm not gonna do anything. Ah! Well, I hate to do it. I hate to get rid of wood, but we need the money. You need to show me the money. Oh, we're gonna talk to her. Hi. And we're gonna talk to this person. Ah, oh, Mary Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Which I'm at right now, but I just got in before it closed. So uh, that was cool. Okay. So I've got to be careful about how I go about getting back up. Fine. Please don't give me seeds. No seed. I can... Ah! Good. Fibers are okay. Hey, give me the fiber. Fiber. Aha! Got through. Aha! Made it! So, this is. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. Because I don't want to take out any of the. Hmm. Let's put the stuff away that I'm going to be selling. There. Got rid of that. We're not going to need that around. We're not going to need that. One, two, three, four, five. There we are. Ha. Get these watered. Got those planted. Now we can get some... The next thing I'm going to get is wood. And that clay that we just got is worth 20, so... I don't know what the other stuff is worth, but get the stones. The stones could be useful. This does that takes no energy, so that's good. But I need to cut down uh, four trees before I go to bed, so I can make at least the chest. Or not four trees, three trees. Derp. Learn to count. Cool. It's 8 p.m. And I want to keep a good supply of the uh, sap on hand. Because you make torches out of the sap. And just to let you guys know, I have put uh, done a slight mod on this. I like the fishing, but I found it was way too challenging for, uh, it just was frustrating me and I, I play games to enjoy it. If I get frustrated, I don't uh, want to do it. And if I don't enjoy aspects of it, oh shoot, I didn't mean to take that tree out, but oh well. <laughs> so, we have enough to make this.
Put that there. And that will be it for this episode. So, sorry, as I was saying, actually, I I play games so I have enjoyment in them. If, it, if something's too difficult and gets me too frustrated, I don't have fun with it. So, that's what I was running into with the fishing aspect of it. So, I took I modified the fishing. Or, I got the mod for easier fishing. It's still challenging to me. Uh, I don't always catch it, but it's not as infuriating. So, I am going to call it for this episode. Uh, we will see you tomorrow, or on day two. And I will like to thank you for coming out and having a good time if you like it let me know and we will see you next time bye for now and i will show you what i earned oh okay we leveled up the foraging that is actually awesome at this point nice got 50 for the clam The mussels are 30, the oyster is 40, and the clay was 20, which I told you. Okay, so we will see you next time when we play some more Stardew Valley.